Okay, so it's time to start the lecture. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to uh, discuss about the alignment passes, uh, which is uh, uh, a discussion that we had before uh, in the lecture four, and I'd like to have a more detailed discussion about the alignment, uh, since this is very important. Um, before moving to that, uh, as usual, I will start about the some logistics. First, um, last week I attended the inter speech, uh, which is the, uh, one of the biggest uh, speech conference. And uh, I forgot the exact number, but it, uh, it seems like uh, the number of participants became the normal. Uh, since 2019, and uh, we still had some issues. For example, uh, several countries, uh, uh, people in the several countries couldn't uh, come to the uh, Korea in Cheon, and the several researchers in the companies uh, restricted uh, their uh, travel budget suddenly. Uh, and the, we still uh, not fully recovered from COVID, but I will say that the, uh, I, I don't remember how many, but the, at least the order of thousands of the people uh, joined this uh, the conference. So uh, it is uh, the, the, uh, quite uh, the, um, getting normal situation now. And there are a lot of uh, fun activities. I just had, uh, had uh, several pictures. So first one, this is the kind of a conference uh, entrance. One of the entrance is a very big uh, conference venue. And the, um, there are a lot of places and a lot of uh, the activities, booths and so on in the conference. And I had a tutorial. Uh, with uh, the, some of my colleagues, uh, including the uh, professor, the Hong Yi Lee in National Taiwan University about uh, self-supervised learning representation for speech and audio processing. Um, I also had a, a dinner uh, with uh, the other uh, CMU colleagues, well, uh, including the, uh, some of the CMU colleagues and the CMU alumni. Uh, it seems like we had uh, this kind of event every time uh, when we have our inter-speech and the ICAS. And uh, this is uh, my first time to join this kind of our uh, CMU uh, dinner event during the uh, uh, inter-speech. And the last one, this one, uh, fortunately, I received the, uh, the, the best review uh, paper award. Uh, at computer speech and language, uh, yay. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and there was a, a, a ceremony uh, the, during the, uh, the closing session. And uh, yeah, this, the picture uh, is actually, uh, the, it's a big screen and uh, uh, the big, uh, picture is about the big screen of my kind of uh, the, uh, the, uh, ceremony, uh, the, uh, the uh, event. Um, there are a lot of other other uh, events. Usually, closing ceremony, including the best paper award in inter speech and some other other uh, best paper award or other award activities uh, during the this kind of a conference and so on. So yeah, it is a really fun event, and I also studied uh, a lot uh, the in person uh, with many uh, researchers not only uh, the, for the uh, research activities through the papers or oral presentation, uh, in-person meeting also had a lot of opportunity to have uh, ad hoc meetings uh, with them about uh, uh, discuss about the recent trends and so on. Uh, and also it's a very good opportunity to meet a lot of people at the, uh, well, so-called social activities. This is also quite important. Uh, so uh, the, I am uh, the quite uh, the, uh, 
happy about uh, joining this uh, the in person event. And uh, next time, uh, I would also recommend you guys to try to attend InterSpeech or other uh, conferences uh, and they, uh, they accumulate uh, your uh, the, uh, research uh, experience. The next uh, uh, logistics is about the last week we have been at tutorials. Um, it seems like there are some issues I found or some people reported, uh, including the uh, battery issues or timeout issue, or some people also have an important event during this, uh, the, the, the tutorials. Uh, since this, uh, the last week events have a quite a large uh, participation point. So we uh, the, try to make the situation uh, the direct and we allow the extension of the uh, submissions until uh, this Friday, uh, end of this Friday. But note that this is only for the regular uh, participation points. Uh, during the uh, tutorial, we also have uh, several bonus points, but the, uh, this, these are not included. But just want to save uh, people that have some issues. Uh, the, we want to uh, the, the provide the opportunities. So uh, if uh, the, some of them have some issues of these and couldn't uh, the finish the, uh, the, to submit the, uh, um, uh, your uh, result that can correspond to the regular participant point, uh, please do so uh, the, by this uh, the new uh, deadline. Okay, uh, any other questions about this? Okay, sounds good. So today uh, I will uh, talk more about the, the uh, detailed alignment passes for three models, CTC, RN transducer, and HMM. And if I have more time, I will also explain about some HMM formulation uh, based on the EM algorithm. But if not, I will add, uh, add, uh, at least try to explain this alignment passes. So as I mentioned in the, uh, the previous lectures, alignment is super important. If we actually solve alignment issues, speech recognition problem is actually quite uh, the, the straight of order. But this alignment problem is the most core part we have to deal with. And the, uh, we explained about the three method. Actually, we have a four method, CTC, RN transducer, HMM, and one more attention-based approaches. But today, I will more focus on the hard alignment problem. So I will skip the, uh, the attention-based uh, approaches, since this is a soft alignment-based approaches. And more focus on these three, uh, the, the, the CTC, RN processor, HMM, and discuss the, some similarity and the difference. Okay, uh, let's uh, the first talk about CTC. By the way, this order, CTC, RN processor, HMM, uh, I saw that it is easier for you guys to understand. But if you guys already know HMM, probably better to start from HMM, or if you guys know RN, transducer more, maybe better to start from the iron transducer. But anyway, this is more for me, also experimental trial of explaining these three methods uh, the in uh, the, the same kind of a similar uh, the alignment based view. And this, I saw that CTC is most, uh, the, the CTC is easiest. So the, the first, uh, the, the, we always starting uh, from this kind of a figure a speech recognition pipeline. And the CTC is actually one of the end-to-end -end method to directly converting the, uh, the speech features from the word sequence. And uh, I will explain about that, uh, what is CTC in more general uh, in terms of the, uh, the alignment passes. So to uh, the, the, uh, use CTC for the alignment, uh, we actually first uh, introduced the uh, a special symbol called the blank. And this 
uh, blank is actually uh, can be used to adjust the length uh, of the uh, input and the output length, uh, input uh, the, uh, the speech features and output word sequences. So uh, in our cases, uh, the, our uh, the word or character sequences, it can be any unit, but the, the, in this talk, uh, the, the lecture, I will use character sequence. SEEC, uh, which is the other three length characters, right? And the speech feature is generally very long. Uh, then, and how to adjust the length is a quite an important problem. And the first, it is a more like a rule. Uh, the, the two uh, uh, the track, uh, the, uh, the, uh, treat with this kind of a sequence to be adjustable. We first insert the blank symbol uh, between the uh, character and the beginning and the end. So if we have an original uh, character like S E E, we insert a blank here. Okay, and then uh, from this uh, the uh, augmented sequence, we actually uh, adjust the this uh, the length to be same as the input features, so that we can. Uh, the, the make uh, alignment uh, of the, uh, the, uh, the character sequence with the input features. Uh, still, this one is, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, fix seven lengths, right? And then the lengths can be 20 or 50. So how to the, the still, uh, the, the adjust it is that too. We actually allow uh, this symbol to be repeated. Blank can be repeated. Uh, the S can be repeated. Uh, this blank can also be repeated. And then they're making it at the same length. And this actually information is uh, corresponding to the, uh, uh, the making uh, alignment and so on. I will show you some example. For example, again, uh, the S, E, E, and uh, we expand it to by uh, the inserting the blank and so on. And let's say the uh, input feature is five. In this case, by the way, you can find that the, this augmented representation is longer than uh, input features, but note that blank can be actually skipped. This is also another flexibility. So blank can be skipped most of the cases. However, there is an important case is that we cannot skip the blank. Uh, this is when the same character happens. If, for example, remove the blank, and I mentioned that this uh, the character can be also repeated, and then. Uh, the, this uh, the repeated symbol, for example, uh, the, the, uh, the E, E, if we do not have a blank, we cannot distinguish this one from single E or double E. So to distinguish same character, uh, conductive same character to be separated, we always have to uh, the insert a blank. So this blank is uh, the, the uh, used to uh, the make a distinction of the same character. So this is, I would say, the one of the rule. And the other is, again, it can be repeated or blank, was, blank will be even uh, the, uh, the skipped uh, unless uh, it is uh, the conductive uh, the characters. So this is a kind of one of the rule, uh, CTC is uh, the, Posing. By the way, it can be any other rules. We can also add it, uh, uh, consider, for example, uh, the, we can uh, set a rule that the character should not be repeated and only blank is repeated or skipped. This is also uh, the, the possible. There are a lot of ways to uh, make this rule. Uh, but anyway, the important part uh, is uh, to uh, providing some kind of a mapping 
from the uh, the word sequence, character sequence to the input features uh, the, with some kind of a form to uh, the, uh, represent the alignment information. And as you can see that this alignment pattern would be multiple, right? Uh, this can be first starting from blank and SE and blank E or some other patterns and so on. Yeah, I, yeah, I actually uh, the, uh, depicted here. Uh, this uh, the pattern can be this, uh, the or can be this, uh, depending on the uh, the the feature alignment we will provide. And basically, uh, the this alignment information is probabilistic. Uh, we will consider all possible alignment and later estimate. Uh, the what is most likely or the, the uh, probability uh, value of uh, the each of the alignment and so on. All hard alignment, no soft alignment. Uh, hard alignment here means that for each frame, Definitely, uh, the, the one of the, uh, the the symbol can be appeared. Okay. Uh, however, the probability I mentioned is that the uh, probability of this sequence, not like uh, uh, the, the probability of the each uh, position to have a possible two other tokens. So each at a time uh, that we would have a possible two or three token, which is again the uh, the soft alignment and corresponding to the attention-based approaches. But the hard alignment cases, these are given, but these are the, 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 uh, the whether this are the, uh, or this would be uh, the considered as a probability. So variable sequence itself is uh, the, the, the probability. So this one can be 30%, this one can be 10%, and the other can be uh, the forty percent or something like that. So this is a difference of the soft and hard alignment. Okay, and of course uh, you could imagine that uh, the given the uh, word sequence, uh, we would have uh, many possible alignment, right? So uh, the from W to convert to Z is one too many mapping. However, the opposite case is always if we have some alignment, uh, we can uniquely get the word sequence. So please remember that this is one too many, many to one problem. Okay, so uh, the, we can write this uh, the approach, uh, the, uh, this kind of all possible uh, alignment uh, like this, but it is. Uh, the, the basically exponentially growing. So instead, as I mentioned, we usually use a tolerance to write uh, this kind of all possible uh, variations. And the, uh, there are some rules to uh, make this other uh, tolerance. I don't uh, decide it yet, but I think I will probably make it as a homework. So please. <laughs> Check it uh, uh, carefully. So first rule uh, of the tolerance is where we uh, where the kind of uh, the path will be started, and the in the uh, the CTC cases, uh, we can start from both the beginning of the uh, blank or the uh, beginning of the character. By the way, uh, this this is the other uh, uh, the. Uh, the direction of the time, and uh, this is a direction of the uh, the sequence. Okay, S E E. Okay. So uh, the uh, beginning of the uh, the path can be starting from this position or this position. Either is fine. And the end of the position uh, should also be actually two patterns. Uh, the end of the character or the end of the blank symbol, uh, either is fine. So this is a kind of a, a, the, a, the first constraint of the, uh, the, the, this kind of a, a, the uh, passes. 
And as I mentioned, all characters can be repeated. However, a uh, blank uh, cannot be skipped uh, when uh, we have a same uh, the, the character. So uh, by considering this, uh, the uh, uh, possibility, the trace is becomes like this, a little bit kind of uh, the, the uh, unique uh, trellis. So you can actually see that some cases, the trellis is skipping the blank, right? Again, this is allowed. Here is also allowed. Of course, we can also pass the blank and then go to uh, the E. That is also allowed. However, uh, we cannot go from here to here directly. Uh, can you see my castle? Yes, okay, right. We cannot go from here to here directly. Because if we do that, we cannot distinguish with the other uh, uh, two E or single E. Actually, if we, for example, uh, go from here to here, if we allow this kind of path, it becomes SE, not becomes SEE. -E. So this kind of uh, uh, the unique uh, trellis uh, that comes from uh, the, this uh, constraint. And by using the, uh, the uh, all uh, the, the, uh, the possible uh, paths uh, based on this kind of trellis, uh, the, the, we can actually uh, efficiently uh, the compute uh, various uh, alignment information. Okay, also one important uh, 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 remark is that always each arrow consumes uh, one uh, the observation. So there is no path to, for example, go from here to here. Uh, if we go, you know, uh, vertical direction, this means that we do not spend any observation and just uh, the, the, uh, providing the, uh, the transition. Uh, this is not allowed in CTC. By the way, it, it's probably possibly we can actually make this kind of a, a transition, uh, but the, the, this is more like a rule to make the, this kind of tolerance simple. Okay, now I move to the short quiz. Uh, Jiaotan, uh, can you? Okay, the quiz is about the Oh, actually, there is some mistake. Sorry about that. Oh, I see. Wait a moment. Wait just a few seconds. Um, okay, yeah. This one is fine. Can you uh, the I'm not sure what's happened. The, it's the same thing, right? Probably my Yeah. 
Um, Actually, my from my display it looks different. So I can see this the last time. Okay. I don't know what's happened there. Should we start or? Yeah, please. So the question is about uh, given this alignment, uh, what uh, the W correspond to? Okay, close the form. Um, the answer is actually S E, uh, not S S E or e, not S E E, uh, because uh, blank symbol uh, is not inserted uh, between S or E, so it is actually just considered as a one character. Okay. Okay, so uh, this uh, the the uh, sequence alignment uh, uh, 
it's regarded as a random variable. Sequence itself as a random variable. And the, uh, by uh, using this random variable, uh, we can actually uh, the, the further uh, formulate uh, CTC uh, function. The part of the equations we already showing, but I will add uh, the complete all equations. Uh, first, uh, the, we introduced the uh, uh, alignment variable Z already, right? And this has the same length uh, with the observation uh, the feature. And the Z has, has actually the, the, uh, the vocabulary set uh, augmented by the uh, blank symbol. So basically, uh, that's it. And then uh, the, how to uh, incorporate uh, this random variable to the PW given O uh, the, is as follows. Uh, we first uh, introduce, oh, sorry, the, uh, yeah, it's fine. We first introduce the uh, uh, Z uh, given, uh, uh, we first uh, introduce the Z uh, that, that is the uh, satisfy the uh, satisfy the condition of representing W and the uh, summation of all possible Z that only representing W is actually added, uh, uh, converted to this probability. And the derivation uh, is shown, was shown in the uh, previous lecture. So anyway, uh, by using this, uh, we can incorporate uh, the random variable Z. Uh, however, this is not the, uh, the end of the, uh, the formulation. Uh, why we introduce Z? Uh, the other reason is that we make this kind of uh, uh, the uh, comp computation tractable. Uh, first, uh, the, by using Z and the, by using the, uh, the chain rule, uh, we can factorize uh, this probability. And then, uh, this is very important. In CTC, actually, we ignore this condition. So this uh, the conditional independence assumption is a little bit strong approximation, I would say. But many actually, uh, the, the problem is actually can be simplified if we removing this uh, conditional independence assumption, uh, if we are uh, removing this condition. And then the final uh, form is like this, summation of all possible sequence. And this sequence, one of the sequence is actually computed by the product of uh, each uh, probability. So this other uh, function form is very important. Uh, by the way, by doing this other uh, form, uh, of course, uh, this part summation over uh, uh, possible alignment is actually quite a difficult part. And the, this will be explained in the following lectures. But this part, PZT given O, is actually not very difficult. This is just uh, that we have uh, observation features and then having a probability uh, of the, uh, the old vocabulary and the, uh, the blank symbol. So if we have a vocabulary like uh, in the character set, it can be 30. And then uh, we have additional symbol 31. And then making actually softmax probability for each time step. This sounds like a previous year question, you know, uh, that it looks like a soft alignment, but actually uh, the, this is uh, the, the, uh, the soft alignment probability is approximated by the uh, probability of the local uh, alignment information. So this is a very unique property comes from the CTC. But anyway, the, uh, all the alignment probability is just a pro uh, the production uh, of the, the old frame, a product of all frame of these values. So that is the kind of a CTC.
Yes. Good question. We do not need it. So in this case, uh, the, we can actually to compute this probability, uh, we actually can use the all entire information of the frame. So that uh, the initially uh, people actually using a bidirectional LSTM, which sweep all the kind of features, right? Although final activation part is actually uh, depending on the encoder output, it's depending on the index T, and it becomes the, uh, this uh, softmax uh, provides a softmax probability. But as an input, original input information, we don't have to actually uh, limit this part to be, for example, OT and so on. This is actually very strong property uh, of the uh, CTC acoustic model, a uh, CTC model, which actually consider and the information of the entire frame. And the data, this one is also replaced by the cell attention, by the way, which is also another uh, operation of consider the all kind of input information. That uh, will be covered later. But anyway, this sounds like an easy problem now, right? And we need to consider this part. Uh, but the others are not so difficult. So this is the CTC. Uh, the, the. So once we have this alignment, we introduce the latent variable, we factorize it, and then making it of this kind of form. Next, uh, I will uh, the expand about RN transducer. And RN transducer is also another type of end to end ASR. So what they can solve is quite similar to CTC. But the uh, one of the big difference is path. Alignment path is very different. So instead of explaining uh, the alignment path uh, in, the, uh, in some kind of other, other words, maybe better to show in this problem. Uh, this is the kind of uh, 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 RN transducer stories. And the, uh, in this uh, the, the RN transducer cases, uh, similar to the uh, uh, CTC cases, anyway, we need to have some adjustment of the output range and the input range. And then the, compared with the CTC, uh, the, the R, uh, CTC, RN transducer is using this kind of a square types of the polaris. And the each kind of path corresponding to the RN transducer alignment. And the, similar to the uh, CTC cases, first we define the start and the end. Start is left bottom corner. And the end is the right top corner. And then uh, this, each of the paths uh, corresponding to, for example, uh, the, the consume the, uh, the, uh, the input features uh, in this direction. And this uh, the, the, uh, the direction uh, corresponding to to uh, uh, provide output token. So basically, uh, the uh, RN transducer cases are uh, similar to the, uh, the CTC. Uh, word sequence is converted to the uh, alignment, but it is actually uh, uh, provided by the, uh, the something similar, uh, but it's a little bit different. Uh, CTC, uh, the, the, uh, alignment to pass course, uh, the compared with CTC. So first, uh, if it goes to this direction, it's just uh, the, the produces uh, uh, um, uh, blank information. And then uh, if we uh, the have some emission uh, the, of the output token, we go to this. So 
in this, for example, example, maybe I can write the, it with the pen. In this example, first we are here and go to this, this, this. No, first actually we are here. How to remove this eraser? Okay. First, we are here and go to here, 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 here. Okay, yeah. First, we are the, are the assume are the, the consuming this one, stay here, and then go to here. And the uh, blank symbol as output, and then go to uh, produces 2E, and then uh, we are uh, the reaching to the final. Okay. Um, in the previous CTC cases, uh, if uh, these two are kind of uh, the conjectively occurred, occurred uh, I said that uh, we cannot distinguish that with single one and the uh, the, uh, the conjective one, right? But in the RN transistor cases, uh, the rule is just removing this symbol and then uh, making it as a W. So we actually don't have an issue of uh, the conjective uh, symbols. And the, yes. So I think Seems like that um, one was going this. Yeah, so it says it says the it says mod v equals time. So v can span the length of t. But in the example that we're discussing right now, uh, t is a lot bigger than time. Yes, exactly. Uh, this is actually rule to make the kind of a, this how to say tolerance and the making of each pass, we actually have to augment the lengths. Otherwise, we didn't, we cannot reach to here, right? So previously, uh, we have a, a five, only five cases. And in this case, uh, we actually have a, uh, always we have a pass to go to this kind of a, a, the, a tilted line, right? Tilted line means that uh, the, we will uh, the consume always consume the, uh, some other the input features to reach out here. However, in the RN transducer cases, to uh, the, the, uh, go, uh, output the tokens, we actually go without consuming this one, right? So to uh, the consider all possible passes, actually, instead of uh, only having a T equal to five, we actually also have to uh, consider to add J. So the length of the alignment is not equal to the input features, but equal to the input feature, uh, the length and the output feature J. So this is actually another difference uh, that RN transducer has. And this is very interesting, right? For example, uh, let me, Erase. Our entrances are also have a, this kind of path, by the way. Without consuming any speech features, they first predict the output token and then consuming the speech features. So for particularly this behavior, this is just purely using the language model, right? It's because it doesn't use any speech features. So this kind of path uh, exists uh, in the other transducer. Uh, this is not the 
again, this is one of the example. There are a lot of other variants of the RN transducer passes, but the original RN transducer is based on this kind of a rule. Yes. Which one has the smaller representation of this? Uh, in terms of the number of the uh the, the unique passes, uh CTC would be uh, the smaller, I believe. Um it can be better in terms of the uh the training the uh, the, the uh uh model uh with or uh, training the model with some kind of mail uh that uh the smaller uh, memory consumption but actually uh, the rn transducer has more possible passes right so uh, the, in some cases uh the, the it's actually uh, the quite more flexible than ctc and also rn transducer has additional other uh, features which i will explain later uh, but due to that, RN transducer is generally better than CTC. But better means, uh, yeah, better means a lot of senses. Again, you know, memory consumption, CTC is good. Uh, the, the speed, uh, CTC may be good. Uh, the performance, RN transducer is good or something like that. Yes. Okay. Um, this behavior of RN transducers, so also, uh, just looking at the language is that, a, is that a drawback or is that a yeah it is drawback i would say or well, if the, the pros and the cons right yeah. sometimes uh the, the uh another by the way interesting uh the uh the uh, flexibility from the rn transducer is that uh, i mentioned that the uh, ctc always the input should be longer than output. Otherwise, we actually cannot reach to the final pass. However, RN transducer doesn't have such kind of constraint. So in some cases, uh, even we actually have a very small, short uh, uh, utilance and having a lot of uh, the uh, tokens, if you know some people uh, the very quickly speak, uh, this might happen, and then RN transducer can actually uh, the, the, uh, flexibly uh, model this kind of situation uh, as well. Uh, but at the same time, it's actually this, uh, the, for example, this path, of course, is not happens so often. So it is very redundant, uh, uh, and the task space becomes larger, and also memory uh, would also become larger. So again, some people actually uh, the setting the uh, number of uh, the transition, uh, the setting the maximum number of transition, like one or two, uh, the in the, uh, the uh, in the, uh, the model configuration to avoid to have a too flexible uh, alignment path. Okay. So anyway, now we have our alignment path. Similarly, uh, we can also formulate the, uh, the RN transducer with an actual other uh, function. And the, uh, the again, uh, the, as I mentioned, uh, uh, the, your question was actually very good. Uh, RN transducer cases, the uh, alignment variable length is not equal to the uh, output length. It is the uh, the, uh, the sum, uh, summation of the uh, output uh, and the input length. So not in the input length. Anyway, uh, by doing that, we actually can make uh, same uh, uh, formulation and then uh, using a probabilistic chain rule to uh, factorize the, uh, this uh, probability. However, RN transducer actually didn't uh, process the conditional independence assumption. So we keep this history as it is. So in terms of the approximation, uh, the 
uh, degree of the approximation, RN transistor didn't uh, doesn't use the conditional independence assumption here, and it would be more accurate. Also, uh, the, this kind of relationship and the uh, conditional independence assumption, I will explain it later. But anyway, uh, this is another property. RN transistor is actually having some language model like effect, which is considered history uh, of the alignment. By the way, it actually doesn't retain the uh, alignment as a history. RN transistor actually uh, retain the partial token sequence up to k minus one as a uh, history. So for example, if uh, zk is here, and then the path is like this, then, then zk minus one is this one. So this uh, becomes the uh, partial hypothesis of S and E here. So instead of actually uh, the, uh, the conditioned by uh, the partial alignment sequence, it is replaced with the partial uh, token sequence. This is another uh, the, the RN transistor trick. Again, this part, uh, we will uh, the, the explain more details later. But uh, the, for now, I just want to uh, mention that the function form is actually quite similar from the previous one, right? This is summation over all possible sequence. And then uh, the, the product of the probability. Although this one is more complicated than the CTC. And actually this part is represented by special neural network called the joint network. But again, that will be explained later uh, in the, uh, um, uh, the more details about RN transducer. For now, I just want you to uh, memorize that both are based on the hard alignment based approaches. And for example, uh, CTC and RN transducer, both are based on the torelis, uh, first making a torelis and consider the all possible alignment. And uh, yeah, let's uh, discuss the difference now. Yeah, we already discussed, you know, uh, the difference, but can you say that the uh, which one uh, is different? Uh, uh, what is the difference of the CTC and the RN transistor? Anything is fine. Already you got mentioned, we, you can repeat it. Yes, yes, length is different, right? Uh, the uh, the alignment path length is you know from uh, the the input feature to the uh, input feature plus output feature uh, uh, output uh, length. Uh, any other difference? Exactly, exactly. Are then transfers a tricky path have a tricky path like this? But CTC always consume always you know uh, the, the go to the right. Uh, the direction, right? Uh, maybe these are mostly uh, the most kind of properties, but really we could rephrase it. Uh, like for example, your uh, the, the, the comment, uh, RN transducer is, I believe most cases, uh, the more uh, the alignment passes than CTC, I believe. I, I, I don't really kind of, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the proof that, proof that uh, but from this kind of example, it is obvious that the uh, RN transistor at least had a lot of uh, the, uh, more arcs and the more uh, the, uh, the transition. So it uh, would be uh, the quite more uh, complicated. Okay, uh, sounds good. So the last part, it's uh, HMM. And the HMM cases, uh, this is a so-called in the acoustic model part. So it is not end-to-end. -end. It is not from features to the award. We actually have a, a one uh, the intermediate representation, which is called phonics. 
And one another difference uh, is that the, the, I think that was also discussed in the last time. Uh, CTC RN transducer uh, uh, based on just kind of using the chain rule. But the uh, HMM, uh, as we derived in the, uh, the, the previous lecture, we actually using the lot of kind of a sum rule, uh, the base rule, uh, the end of so on to finally derive it, right? So this is also another difference. Okay, anyway, uh, the, the HMM cases, I also try to explain something similar to the uh, the RN and transducer or CDC. So first, you know, we have a word sequence, right? One, two, three, and so on. And then uh, the, the, uh, we use the dictionary, pronunciation dictionary, to convert this uh, word sequence to a phoneme sequence. Uh, by the way, uh, in this lecture, uh, we will usually uh, the, use the uh, that the lexicon pronunciation would have a one-to-one -one mapping, but actually not, right? It can be one-to-many or many-to-many. -many. So in this case, the, the formulation is a little bit difficult, uh, but basically the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, for the simplicity of the explanation, I will just uh, the, uh, use the one-to-one -one mapping cases. Okay, so uh, the, after this kind of a, a phoneme, uh, the conversion, uh, we will uh, the, the model uh, this phoneme. However, it is not the end. We first introduce the silence, uh, which is you know, another category. And usually, of course, it is not included in the dictionary, right? So we inserted it uh, the manually. Where we insert the silence? Uh, the, definitely, we should insert the silence in the beginning and the end. Many of the audio clip uh, actually has some silence region uh, in the beginning. So uh, we will insert silence beginning and the silence end. And we also often insert the short pause between the word. By the way, this short pause can be skipped in the model, like similar to the blank. And then the, the, we actually uh, the augmented the lexicon to this kind of a representation. Silence begin and the, uh, the one and the short pause and the two and the silence. And after that, we finally also decompose it to the three state. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, this is more like our, uh, the, our kind of empirical finding that uh, form uh, transition can be uh, the, uh, regarded as a three component. One is the, uh, the uh, beginning of the form that is transit from the previous form or previous silence. And the middle of the form phoneme can be very stable. And the, the uh, last of the form can be moved to the other phoneme. So it can be a little bit unstable, uh, the, uh, the not unstable, uh, the, uh, the, uh, some transition uh, of the, uh, the, the form information, which would, can be distinguished with the, uh, the uh, uh, static uh, stable uh, representation in the middle. So we usually use uh, three states to further expand this information, like silence B, W, A, all are kind of uh, expanded to one, two, three. Uh, by the way, there are several nodes. Is it really always three? Uh, the answer is no. This is more like uh, our kind of model constraint. Uh, some people use two, some people, most people use it three. And the, this HMM is also used for the speech synthesis. And in this case, they are actually using five. So this is completely different. And one of the model configuration, I would say. And the other question is that should all phoneme be 
the same three states? Maybe not. Probably for the boil, it can be longer duration than the consonant. So it can be longer. So maybe better to make it longer and so on. There are such kind of studies and so on. But usually uh, it's a little bit difficult to uh, the make this kind of configuration. So people just using always three or always five or something like that. Okay, so this is the kind of our, uh, the expansion of output. And then that we will do the alignment, uh, actually quite similar to uh, the what uh, that we have done uh, in the previous uh, the CTC based approaches. Again, uh, we write the polaris, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And this is a kind of a state, uh, the, uh, the transition uh, state, uh, each HMM state. Uh, for this uh, the explanation, I just kind of, uh, for the simplicity, I only kind of consider that one for them, which has a uh, three states, uh, the U cases. And then that uh, we try to consider all the possible alignments. And in these cases, uh, the, the HMM uh, that we call uh, the three state left to right HMM. Uh, left to right means that, that we always go from left UW one state to the second state, third state, and so on. Uh, there is no kind of a, uh, the crazy transition from three to two or three to one or skipping and so on. And then the similar to CTC cases, uh, we actually can write the uh, torres uh, like this. And please note that the, the, uh, these uh, torres are, are, the, are the only allowed uh, the, uh, passes uh, based on the left to right uh, HMM constraint. So for example, this uh, let arrow, let arrow is not allowed uh, in this um, uh, the representation. And there are some kind of a tricky HMM, which we usually don't use. But of course, if we use such kind of tricky HMM, like uh, the, the jumping from one to three and so on, if we have using this kind of a HMM state, we of course have a, this kind of a transition as well. So uh, the, this is a kind of a, a basic uh, the HMM that we will use. But uh, again, we have uh, several variations of the HMM. Uh, left to right, we mainly use. And the skip uh, based HMM, this is rarely used uh, the, for some cases um, and the ergodic HMM, which is actually having uh, all connected, uh, the all connection, even going back from uh, this one to this one. Uh, in this case, actually the concept of the, of the order becomes more broader and the, uh, the, the information of the alignment also becomes broader. So this ergodic uh, HMM representation uh, is not really used. However, uh, this ergodic HMM is quite similar uh, property to the Gaussian mixture model. So later I will explain the Gaussian mixture model. And this Gaussian mixture model and the ergodic HMM is quite similar. So anyway, this is the case of the one phoneme. And uh, of course we are, are considering the uh, various phoneme and so on, right? So we basically concatenate uh, the connect all the kind of this uh, the HMM, uh, the, the information, and then finally making a very large torus uh, to represent the uh, the uh, final word, which I actually tried to write, but it's super huge, so I actually gave up. Okay, so now we have an alignment, and then the same uh, uh, with the uh, the previous uh, the RN transducer and the CTC, uh, what uh, we will do is to uh, make this uh, as our uh, actual function form. Apologize for small equation. Uh, 
but hope people can check it and also apologize for many equations. <laughs> uh, but I will try to explain uh, the, each of the, uh, the um, equation one by one. First part here. Is, is everyone remember this one? I hope everyone remember this. This is uh, appeared in the, I think, third lecture. And uh, I kind of repeated to mention that the, uh, this is the way to decompose the problem based on the probabilistic uh, the manner and introducing the lexicon. So this part is uh, that we already derived in the third lecture. And let's starting from this one. Uh, yeah, this one, acoustic model, lexicon, and the, uh, the language model, right? So I hope everyone remembers that. And from here to here, uh, we actually using the sum rule to introduce the latent variable. And here I actually using the S instead of Z. Uh, this is because uh, the, the, the following notation, I want to actually distinguish the uh, CTC or RN transducer based alignment and the agent based alignment, but the, basically the property is the same. So we introduce a state, uh, HM state alignment uh, variable. And then the, uh, the we actually consider the summation of uh, all possible S representing W. This is very similar to the what uh, the I, we have uh, the discussed. But uh, however, in the, uh, the CTC and the RN transducer cases, uh, W uh, uh, is uh, the, uh, the state uh, the alignment variable uh, directly representing the uh, character word sequence by right. But in the uh, HMM cases, this is go through the phoneme. So uh, the phoneme dictionary is actually uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, provided uh, to convert uh, W to S. And then uh, the similar to the, uh, H, uh, the CTC RN transducer, uh, S also has some left to right free state HMM constraint. So it can be also written at the tolerance. And then the, the basically the, uh, uh, the equation uh, is a little bit complicated, but the, uh, what we will do is same. We just use the uh, chain rule to factorize this probability to the each uh, probability for the frame. Uh, no assumption we performed. However, from here to here, like what we have done CTC, we actually using the conditional independence assumption. I will explain a bit more about why uh, we can uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, remove these conditions. But this is, I would say, uh, HMM, uh, has this kind of very strong uh, assumption. This actually makes the HMM model weak uh, than uh, CTC or RN transducer based on this conditional independence assumption. And finally, uh, we uh, derive these kind of equations. So we have a lot of equations, but this one is language model. This one is lexicon part. And this one is the state transition probability, which I will explain later. And this one is more like some kind of a likelihood or some score functions. And this uh, function is represented by the Gaussian mixture model or a deep neural network. So this part is actually uh, represented by the neural network. So sounds like a bit complicated, right? However, uh, these three uh, the formulations 
actually has a very nice common property. So I list uh, the three equations. Um, maybe I can ask you guys, uh, which part is similar or common of this equation? Actually, there's a question regarding which mass. Yes. Why the summation over L was dropped? Yeah, this is also all possible. Uh, the state sequence is also uh, considered all possible uh, lecture so that the L is actually dropped. You see, for example, one to one mapping case is clear, right? W is directly uh, the, the, uh, represented as a unique uh, phoning sequence. So in these cases, we actually don't have to uh, make summation over L, right? Yeah. But the, the, I kind of keep in L because we also have uh, you know, multiple pronunciation cases, right? So that I kind of keep in this L. Yeah, but this is also a very good question. But anyway, this kind of uh, the variation of the phoneme uh, and uh, the, the all kind of HMM alignment information is uh, the represented as this one. Okay. Very good question. Yeah. Uh, do you guys see some? Similarity, yes, Shida Hunt. Yes, exactly. Uh, this is exactly right. I hope you will not check the next slide. <laughs> <laughs> yes, next slide actually having an answer. <laughs> yes, exactly true. Uh, all these kind of uh, RN transducers, PTC, HMM, are uh, based on the summation over all possible alignment. But inside of this, uh, the, 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 let's say, uh, the, the function or uh, the probability of the path or whatever is represented by the product of the each uh, the, the score. Uh, the, over the time, uh, although other countries are slightly different, this is uh, the, uh, over the, uh, the time plus uh, the, uh, the, the uh, output length. But anyway, this actually uh, the form is uh, the making us to solve some equations. Uh, if we don't have this form, actually this, summation over all possible Z is very, very difficult. And we cannot actually solve this uh, the, the equation. And the, uh, of course, the, the, uh, there are some difference, right? The, the high level equation are always this kind of a form, but each of the functions are different. Uh, this one, this one, this one is different, right? And also the, the alignment passes are differently constrained, right? Uh, and then the short quiz. Uh, I think the question is which one is other transfers for this? What kind of even the loading it doesn't. 
Let me try. I think actually this one is. I will clone that and then the, we'll do that not right now. Wait a moment. Um, is that visible now? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can probably not. I will do it. Okay. 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 I think it's going to be the Post 83, right? So please check that it is post 83. I will close it in 30, 30 seconds. Okay, please close the poll. So actually the answer is C, uh, the yeah, I want to always make it 100%. So <laughs> it is almost, but it is unfortunate. Okay, uh, if I have time, I will also try to explain the more, but probably I can just finish it today by this uh, the uh, section. So uh, I explain about CTC, RN transfers and the HMM. And yeah, these are, uh, I'll say some part very different, uh, but actually uh, the, the all are uh, uh, based on the hard alignment base and the similar uh, function form. But of course, uh, the, the making these, each of the method unique uh, by using the phoneme or out, uh, different output token, or uh, most unique part is how to constrain the alignment and so on. Uh, but the, the basically, uh, this uh, the similar function forms are actually quite a good property uh, for us to formulate this uh, the, the, these three method in a uniform manner. So in the next uh, lectures, I will more focus on the uh, HMM part and providing the more formulations and so on. But this can be applied to the other two parts. And I just want to mention that uh, we will have a lot of masses for two or three lectures. So I will try to do my best to make it uh, the, 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 the easy for you to understand. But I just want to uh, mention it. Okay, thank you so much.